<laughs> laughing through the pain. Absolutely screaming, but I'm smiling because it's fine. I just love finessing the system. It's like my favorite thing. All the schools are closing. So this is the bread aisle in Aldi. So, you know, no, no, no. We are not risking coronavirus because it's my only form of income. Hello, hi, good morning, happy Monday. Welcome back to a new week, a new vlog. Happy Sunday to you. As you can see, I'm in a great mood, starting the vlog in my sports bra in my bedroom. Kind of as per usual. How are we? I have a few things on my agenda. So I need to start filming two videos along with this one. I need to order new hair products, shampoo and conditioner. And I want to obviously go to the gym. What's happening this week? Is there anything happening this week? You're behind the screen like Rebecca, whatever happens. <laughs> Happy Tuesday evening. And by Tuesday evening, I literally mean it's full on 25 to 11 at night. <laughs> Today, I basically filmed like three different videos. So it's not that I forgot to vlog, it's that I was so sick of hearing my own damn voice and talking to a camera that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna leave off vlogging while I'm doing these videos. Yeah, so didn't really vlog today at all whatsoever, but you know, typical day in the life, got up, filmed, edited, went to the gym, came home, video went live, filmed, 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 ate. But I got a package today and I thought I would show you. So yeah, it's from We Love Lashes. So I had never heard of them before, but they're a eyelash like retailer so they carry like loads of different brands of lashes so they sent me unicorn lashes they emailed me and said would I like to try could they send me some lashes so then I emailed back and was like yeah these are the kind of lashes I like these are the kind of styles I like just because obviously they would so many lashes on the website that I was like if they send me eyelash styles that I don't really like then it's not really going to work out for them because I won't wear them but these look nice so they sent me the unicorn lashes which I've actually been dying to try so we have the style cherry top which is kind of crisscrossy don't know will I like them but I never know what lashes till I put them on my eyes but then I feel like these are more my vibe forget me not really long really wispy um and then they gave me a Revlon lash glue which I'm excited about and then an eyelash applicator and I've never used one of these so I'm excited because normally I just use tweezers so yeah thank you we love lashes I started filming my video today my video that I'm very excited to film good morning happy Wednesday from me and my finessing the system <laughs> so my most recent way of finessing the system I think my camera lens is dirty why does this always get dirty? Like, who touches it? I don't understand how you get dirty. Okay, lovely. Um, I'm pretty sure the YouTube video I uploaded yesterday, that blur was there. But you know what? It's fine. I just love finessing the system. It's like my favourite thing. Oh. Hello, Kate Mansfield. Sorry there, Kate called me. But, oh yes. So I finessed the system, which I love doing. Like, it's actually my favourite thing to do. Oh yeah. I was like trying to think what I was talking about. So I set up a beauty email list and I'm gonna start it this Friday. So basically any beauty finds, I, like bargain beauty finds that I find, any bargain, beauty bargains, oh my God, why can't I talk? Any beauty bargains that I find, I'm gonna put in this email list with like discount codes and links and like ways you can save money and, because, like, I'm just such a bargain queen. Like, if I can get something at a cheaper price, I will find it. That's why I love the internet. But if you want to be on the list, you can, if you follow me on Instagram and message me, because I know, obviously, people don't want to be leaving their emails, like, in the comments. Well, if you do, that's fine. You can leave them there. But if you don't, just follow me on Instagram, at Rebecca Short, or just email me. Um, I'll put my email in. Oh, yeah, that's the easiest. If you email me, saying that you want to join, I'll add you to the list. The way I finesse the system today, right, is 
I mentioned it plenty of times before, I use the Hair Burst Hair Growing Vitamins because obviously we're trying to get long, strong, thick hair. Like I want my hair down to below my boobs. I just, I haven't had really, really long hair in ages. The last time I had long hair it was like bleached and it wasn't in the best condition. So we're trying to keep our hair healthy. So I get the Hair Burst Vitamins. And I normally always buy them from Holland and Barrack because they, when they have their like buy one get one for one cent sale. So I get two of them for 30 euro. Now, this is where it all comes in. I don't know if I said it in a vlog or where I said it, but I bought this like silk um, scrunchie in TK Maxx at Christmas. I bought a packet of them. Like, are they really silk? I don't know. It was just like, do you know, the packs that you get in T H Max? I think they, it was like 10 euro for five of them or something. And I was like, I really want them because again, follow, like, following along the theme of like keeping my hair healthy, um, normal hair bobbles tend to like break your hair and they're really harsh in your hair, whereas silk ones are better for your hair. So I looked up the last day, the slip, you know, like the slip silk pillowcase, they do scrunchies now. But literally, a packet of scrunchies from Slip is like £39. So I wasn't about to pay €43 Euro for silk hair bobbles. Then, Hairburst put it on their website. So if you go on to hairburst.com, their actual website, and you buy any packet of vitamins, and I just bought my regular vitamins, so they're £25 each, which is about... 28 euro say so if you buy any set of vitamins so it's 28 euro for one month but normally i get two months for 30 euro but holland and barrett don't have a set and sale at the moment and i'm out of them so i need them but then they have an offer where if you buy any vitamins you get a free a free packet of silk scrunchies so with any vitamins so they're 24 and they're zero because they're free, because I don't think they've brought them out yet to buy, but obviously, so they're silk scrunchies, so I think you get, what is it, three of them? So I was like, okay, that's great. So I'm actually saving money because the silk scrunchies are normally 40 pounds, and I'm getting them for free with these. So I know I'm got, not getting two months, but I'm still saving money because I'm getting the scrunchies that would have cost me, because realistically, knowing me, I would have bought them anyway. <laughs> So these are the silk, like the slip ones, um, and they're £39. But we're not done there. I'm not sponsored by this company, but I have been using it so, so much, and it's actually, it's really worth it, in my opinion. And you don't pay anything. So I have downloaded Honey. That's the Honey thing there. So Honey comes up. So this is what Honey does. So on most websites, it applies coupons, coupon codes. And then you get a discount. So I got a discount then of 20%. So I saved 4.99. So that was only 20 euro or 20 pounds for that. And then so it's 26 pounds altogether, including shipping. So when I use my Revolut app, this seems like one big ad, but it's actually not. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm just telling you. So that like putting people on to bargains. So when I use my Revolut app then, which I can pay in pounds on, it is, so 26 pounds is 29 euro and 63 cent. So I avoid any like bank charges or like um, conversion charges. So for 29 euro, I got one month of the vitamins plus the silk scrunchies that would have realistically normally cost me 43 euro so that would have been 73 euro and i got it for 29. did i get two months of vitamins no but i did get the free scrunchies so that's why i bought it the hair burst vitamins as well that i use are the original ones the healthy hair vitamins not the gummies not the love hearts just the original hair vitamins i'd love to get like a discount code or work with them in some way just because i talk about them so much and i know they work my hair is in such good condition it's so healthy it's growing so quickly and like i have done so much to my hair hello hello happy thursday 
so the coronavirus is officially in Ireland. Well, it's been in Ireland for about a week or two, but we got news today that all the schools are closing and colleges um, until at least the 29th of March. It is the 13th of March today, I wanna say. I could be wrong. What's the 12th of the day ahead? Sorry, it's very windy now. Fuck, I hate when it's windy because I can't vlog. Um, but yes, so schools and colleges are closed. Um, gatherings of more than 100 people inside are cancelled and more than 500 people outside. Uh, so it's kind of getting serious and apparently all the shops are like absolute mayhem now i don't know because i haven't been in one but i think after i go to the gym the gym is still open for now thank god but i think after i go to the gym me and una are gonna head to some shop okay you can't see me now because of the sun but yeah i think me and una are gonna head to some form of shop um, and I'll show you if it's kind of mental but yeah so I think as of this morning as well Trump is after cancelling all flights from Europe to America except the UK and Ireland because obviously the UK isn't part of Europe anymore like as in the EU it actually is part of Europe technically and um, he obviously thinks that Ireland is part of the UK because we are still in Europe and in the EU so don't ask me why, like, I don't know why he said the all of Ireland aside from the UK, or all of Europe aside from the UK and Ireland because it's in the UK and Ireland, so that doesn't make any sense, but I guess does Trump ever make sense? But yeah, so people are probably panicking, buying everything just past the butchers there and it is a lot busier than normal. Um, it's kind of wild, like I don't know what will happen um, and obviously by Sunday by the time you're watching this it might have escalated um, but up till yesterday, Wednesday, everything was, everything wasn't fine but nothing was closed, there was just a lot of hysteria whereas now like my mom said she was in Dunn shopping earlier and a woman collapsed, like and not collapsed because she had the coronavirus, like collapsed with the stress of it all I guess. So this is the bread aisle in Aldi. Absolutely gone. <laughs> Tuna, yeah, mom and dad on The cues. The toilet roll. That's a grim sight for anyone. From my coronavirus shopping. Do you want to see my little haul <laughs> of what I got? This isn't like, I didn't go like panic of shopping. Like I'm not that type of gal. But I got, remember the rain drink I wanted a few weeks ago. If you watch the vlogs, you will know a few weeks ago I was looking for this drink and I couldn't find it. I found it, it's great. I bought some sea salt dark chocolate in Aldi. I bought the Linda McCarthy Cartney vegetarian sausages because I really like those. I bought two packs. And I bought protein yogurt. It's not really a coronavirus haul, but I guess you could call it that because there was like, I showed you the bread aisle in Aldi. All the bread was gone. All the bread was gone. Oh, hi, good morning. Happy Friday. How are we? Are we good? Are we well? I um, need to wash my hair, but it's great timing because my new shampoo and conditioner came this morning. I'm going to show you what I got. Now, I haven't used this before, so this is not a product recommendation. This is just a informing you on new products in my life. So there's Lexi, hello, good morning. And there is my new shampoo and conditioner. So as I've already said, I got the, actually I don't know what I say. I got the Bumble and Bumble shampoo, which is a brand I've never ever tried. I got it from Look Fantastic, where I get all my, a lot of my beauty products. And this is the Sunday shampoo and I got the creme de coco conditioner. Now, the reason I got the Sunday shampoo is because, I don't know, can you see in the bottle? But basically, it's a weekly de detoxifying shampoo. And my scalp has been quite dry right lately and quite... Um, Lexi, are you okay there? <laughs> my scalp has been quite dry and quite, like, ir not irritated, but yeah. 
basically. So I wanted to get this because you're supposed to use it once a week and it's supposed to really help with like residue and build up in your scalp and it's supposed to be really clarifying. So I said I'd get that one because I only wash my hair like once a week anyway. I got this one, the creme de coco conditioner. So this then would be for dry and coarse hair. So it's an indulgent conditioner. It smells absolutely phenomenal. I already smelled it because the loads of the reviews online was like, oh my god, this smells amazing. So that is Bumble and Bumble shampoo and conditioner. I will update you in a few weeks as to how I am liking it. Uh, so I got that this morning and I'm waiting on two more deliveries today. Will they come or will they not? I'm not sure. But in other exciting news, you might remember a few weeks ago I was looking for this drink, Rain. It's a new energy drink. It's by the same people who make Monster, I'm pretty sure. But the only two flavors are Berry Burst and Melon Mania. It's fine. It is quite melony. Every time I hear a car outside, I'm like, is that my delivery? Um, because my brother said the melon or the berry one didn't taste good so I got the melon one it's not white monster you know I think I compare everything to white monster I like white monster and I like the blue 3d energy um but this new one and it's supposed to be loaded with caffeine but it's loaded with caffeine so we're gonna get a big leg sesh in today because it's corona time and my gym might be closed soon it might not but, you know, I'm gonna keep supporting them while they are open because again, they are a small business and I think it is important for people to support small businesses in their local town, city, while coronavirus is happening. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym now, come home, use my new shampoo, get ready for the day and yeah, that's kind of all my buzz. Also, my YouTube channel is popping off this week. And to be honest, I think it's because, remember how last week I was saying I was doing what Gary Vee said and posting on LinkedIn? And like a few of my posts on LinkedIn have got quite track, like quite a bit of traction. So I'm like, are people coming from LinkedIn? Are people coming from my TikToks? So I have like 9,000 followers on TikTok or are people just like finding my videos because coronavirus so they have like more time everyone's working from home i don't know either way i'm at currently at 1365 subscribers and last week i hit 1300 so wherever my new subscribers are coming from hello hi welcome uh comment down below actually how you found my channel i'd be really interested to know and yeah happy friday i'm gonna drink this even though it's not the most appetizing. And we're gonna to head to the gym because I feel like after this, I will be locked and loaded. Total body fuel. I mean, what more could you want? Fueled with caffeine and B vitamins. Oh yeah, this is vitamin B12 as well. Oh, that's my mom. So I'm having an absolute mare today. Typical Friday the 13th. Um, but it's not typical because it's fine. It's all gonna work out and putting into the universe. But basically, I've ordered something from New York for a video I'm doing that I plan on putting live on Tuesday. Now, what I have put, I ordered it from New York. I paid an obscene amount for these things. And I paid an obscene amount for delivery, UPS priority. And basically, UPS don't know what's going on. But on my end, it says... Because basically it was saying that it didn't clear customs. Um, and then I like got on to live chat. And basically it's a whole big shebang. But it's all kind of explained in the video. That may or may not go up sometime in the near future. So I... So basically they were like, oh sorry, we're wrong. Like it is coming, it's not coming, it is coming, it's not coming. And I'm just like, what is happening? So apparently, according to UPS Online, it should be here by the end of the day. But I don't know whether or not that is true. I'm hoping it is true because I mean, that's what online says. So let's hope so. Uh, but UPS weren't very helpful. So I'm gonna go have my shower with my new shampoo and conditioner and hope that when I get out of the shower, yeah, the knock on the door, 
and that I have enough time to put on, you know, clothes and then my deliveries here. But I've got three deliveries to my house so far today and none of them have been what I'm waiting for. So that's great, but I can't go to the gym because I'm like, if I miss this delivery, I will lose my shoot. So, yeah, we love this for me. I meant to mention this before and I never did, but I thought this would be a tip for any of my frizzy haired gals out there. So after I take my shower, I don't wrap my hair in a towel. I wrap it in like a cotton t-shirt. Um, and that kind of prevents your hair from being frizzy because the towel like frizzes up the fibers of your hair or something. Whereas these like are gentle. So yeah, top tip from Rebecca, always helping you out with the best of tips. So I have done my hair. It actually feels like I got it freshly done, like genuinely. I washed it, my scalp is like, it was literally sparkling. That's how clean it was. Like it literally looked as if it was sparkling. Also, can we cope with hair growth? I know you can't see now because my hair is black and so was my top. But yeah, so I washed my hair, dried and straightened it. Cause I was like, you know what? If I'm going to self isolate, at least I can look good doing it. Um, no, sorry, I shouldn't be joking about that. There's actually a girl, Kira Walsh, on Instagram, and she's in Italy, but she's Irish, and she's like sharing on her story what is going on, and it's kind of freaking me out a bit. Um, like they're in total self isolation. They're not even allowed like go to each other's houses. And basically, what she was saying was, Italy's hospitals and stuff have a way higher capacity than Ireland's do. So like in Italy at the moment, they're literally choosing who to treat. Like they can treat everyone because they don't have the capacity. And if that's Italy, like imagine if Ireland got to that level. That's the issue. I think she kind of explained the issue very well in her Instagram story. She was kind of like, you know, people are like, oh, I'm young, I'll be fine, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, you're young and you'll be fine. But if you infect, if you get infected and infect someone who wouldn't be fine, then you know that's how it grows and that's how it kind of starts so yeah that's terrifying like i'm still going to go to the gym but i'm going to obviously be smart like wash my hands before i go and stuff but i don't know when i'm going to, going to go to the gym because i'm at home now and i don't want to miss this delivery so might just do a few makeup looks instead <laughs> okay so i spent the entire day in my house waiting on that delivery for that YouTube video that I can't tell you about and it just didn't arrive so I am not UPS's biggest fan right now would be an understatement um, quite angry but you know what you do when you have built up aggression and freshly washed hair you go do leg day so I'm gonna go to the gym and smash a leg day like, I mean, work out as if I'm taking out all my anger on the UPS people. I'm very sad because my hair is lovely and fresh. It's actually that new shampoo and conditioner that's after one wash. I feel like, do you feel like you got your hair done? Like, that's what my hair feel like, feels like. It feels like I got my hair professionally done. Like, look at the shine. It's unreal. Anyway, let's go gym. <laughs> Because otherwise I will fucking scream. Absolutely scream, but I'm smiling because it's fine. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Good morning, Lexi. 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 Hi, good morning. Hello, hello, hi, happy Saturday from rainy Ireland. It is currently sun showering. Uh, so that's great. Love that for me. But how are we? Happy Saturday. I want to show you what I got yesterday in pennies. Literally just one thing. So it's like the tiniest pennies haul you will ever see in your life. But, hello. Sorry now. We're just doing a bit of a <coughs> makeshift tripod situation. So, I got these. They are shower caps because if 
I was about to say, if you saw yesterday's video, this is the same video. Yesterday, I showed you I got the new shampoo. My hair honestly feels amazing. It feels so clean, so fresh. And I'm like, I need to protect this hair when I shower. You know when you shower when you don't wash your hair. Um, so they had these shower caps when I went into pennies yesterday. Three for three euro. And see, my problem in life is I have quite a big head. So many things like this don't fit me. But I can confirm. Are you ready? That the shower cap is like so big enough for my head. So, you know. And put the cap on. So, yeah, like it totally works. I look like a bit of a sous chef, but like it's so big, which is great because <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> oh, it's very sunny and my eyes are sore. But this is great because I have quite a big head and normally stuff like this don't fit or like squeeze my head and um, it's painful. But, and I have a lot of hair as well, that's also an issue. But yeah, you can do like ears out, ears in. And they have an avocado pattern. They have a cute banana pattern, even though I don't like to eat bananas. I mean, the pattern is super cute. I just saw these and I was like, I need these in my life. And um, so I bought them. I want it, I got it. I'm basically Ariana Grande. Now that I'm monetized on YouTube, I can just buy all the shower hats that I want. And then they have this cute, like, um, cactus print. So, yeah, these are them. And they're only three euro, so that's one euro each. What a bargain. So, yeah, I now have a shower cap when I want to shower and protect my hair. Actually, I was supposed to send out my... I'm starting a weekly beauty email. And I was supposed to send out my first beauty email yesterday. But to be honest, the stress of my delivery from UPS not arriving and me thinking that my whole plan with what I was getting and the YouTube video I was making, it will all come to light soon. Don't worry, I've recorded the whole process. But me thinking then that it was a waste of a substantial amount of money on something that I shouldn't have wasted that much money on. I was just stressed and I was like, uh, and like waiting around housebound all day. And technically being housebound all day, should have resulted in me just doing the email, but I didn't. And then I'm like, with the coronavirus, like, is it stupid to send out, hey, this is an email of all things you can buy online, but will they get delivered? Who knows, because corona, you know? I don't know. But maybe I'll just send them out anyway and just tell people, um, because obviously we don't know what's going to happen. The only thing that has happened so far in Ireland is all the schools have closed till the 29th of March, schools and colleges, but like everything else is still more or less open. Some businesses are closing, but then some aren't, but then like obviously some businesses are small businesses and they can't afford to close and pay their staff. It's a big hullabaloo. So what I'm hoping is that the government makes some form of announcement so that people are covered, you know, hopefully maybe they do a rent freeze or like something to help everyone because you know especially like businesses mightn't have to close but there's so many freelancers myself included all my makeup appointments for this weekend were cancelled and um like my makeup appointments well into april like a month away if not longer like for weddings and stuff like they've all been cancelled so that's great, we love that for me, you know. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Help me out because I'm not making money from my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing through the pain. I'm gonna head to the gym now, and some of you might be looking at me being like, Rebecca, you're being so irresponsible. But the gym I go to, number one, like this time of day, it wouldn't be too busy. It wouldn't be less than like a meter or two away from someone. I wash my hands and I go in, wash my hands and I go out. I don't actually touch my face anyway because when you grow up with acne, one of the main things they tell you is like, don't touch your face. So I actually don't touch like my face regularly. I know some people do, but yeah, because obviously if you get the bacteria on your hand and then touch your face, obviously you contract the coronavirus. There probably won't be any more updates on like the situation in Ireland and the coronavirus and stuff yet. Um, it'll probably be like sun Monday, I'm assuming. I think all the world leaders met in Washington for some reason and that makes me think 
that it is a lot bigger and bolder than is made out to be because like I don't know like when ever else has like basically the whole world shut down like so many businesses in America are closing I saw an article this morning about Apple closing its stores Jeffree Star has closed all his warehouses and it's like for people like that for people who have like for multi-million dollar companies who have the money to close and pay their employees like great but it's just really scary times for like the small businesses the small cafes the small shops the small restaurants you know um so i might get takeaway tonight you know support a local business um but yes other than that i am happy out i uh, see i'm used to i'm actually probably quote unquote lucky in this situation because from watching my vlogs you know i spend most of my week at home anyway like i work other, actually no, even with make appointments, I work from home, so I do my work for the magazine I write for at home, I do obviously my YouTube videos, mostly at home, I edit that, them at home, I do makeup looks on myself at home, like, I'm kind of a work from home kind of gal anyway, so it hasn't affected me in that way yet, whereas I know a lot of people who have been told to work from home are like, <gasps> how am I going to work from home? Um, so yeah, at least I'm kind of fortunate in that way that I'm used to this way of life of self-isolation kind of. But genuinely, like I think if, like I know Italy's in isolation and if more and more countries go into isolation, at least people will have a place to turn to for a bit of lightheartedness. And that's why I like my channel to, channel to be. Like I like the majority of what I do to be like lighthearted, fun, make you laugh. Obviously, my body image video that I did last week was a bit more serious and also the views in that were shocking. So, obviously, no one cares about body image or everyone's like, mm -hmm. I'm not being, you know, I'm not ready to be self-aware right now. Just gonna wash my hands with the Moisture Protect Antibacterial Hand Wash. But of course, the hand wash that I have in my house is has added vitamin E and moisturizer because we don't we want sanitized hands right but we don't want dry hands can you tell i'm in a really chatty mood today and i have no one to talk to because no one's at home but at least i have this camera lens that is kind of dirty Oops. hello happy saturday evening for me and my makeup face <laughs> so i'm on the way or i'm leaving now which i'm kind of late but oops that's my brand and I'm leaving to go down to the Mall, which is a pub, but I'm not going to the pub to go for drinks for the night and go to a really busy pub. That's not my vibe because coronavirus and irresponsible. But my best friend is now like the manager of the Mall and she's doing like a total 360 with it. Um, so she wants me to go down and taste their new cocktail menu so i'm going down there now to taste some cocktails and to kind of put them on my instagram story and stuff like that because i'm the best friend ever um but yeah i'm gonna go down now because i don't want to be there if it's busy like no 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 we are not risking coronavirus we're just helping a friend okay i don't want to hear it i'm not promoting being stupid i'm helping a friend i'm a nice friend okay can a monster because i need to be energetic but yeah i'll see you down there i'll get a few Clips, you know. This the new mall. So pretty. It's actually stunning, though. Look at it. No chance of coronavirus, huh? So I'm. Ooh. Okay, so I'm home from cocktail tasting. Uh, the cocktails in the new mall are very good, but um, I don't know. What will be happening because apparently word on the street is that everything's going to be going into basically lockdown in Ireland from Monday on um, or from tomorrow on. I don't know what the crack is. So I have my pizza. You can't tell me margarita pizza isn't up there with the best of the best. So yeah, the cocktails were great. Shout out to the mall. I had an espresso martini and a strawberry mojito. I can't cope with my hair, lads. It looks like I got it professionally done and I didn't. It's the new shampoo and conditioner. Bumble and bumble. I'll link it down below. 
but uh this is where i'm finishing off this week's weekly vlog i don't know what next week's weekly vlog is going to be like because coronavirus um there was another death in ireland 39 new cases today apparently i don't want to say too much because i don't want to be scaremongering but apparently from tomorrow from monday there's going to be many you know uh precautions put in place my gym is closed i was at the gym today but since i was talking to you last the gym is now closed everything till the 29th of march which is two weeks away basically but thank you so much for tuning in to this week's weekly vlog at least 60,000 irish people will need icu beds and we have 277 so looking back on tonight when i went into town when i went into the pub to help kate obviously i wanted to help a friend but obviously as well it was stupid of me because even though where i went wasn't busy there was about three people in there i wasn't in close proximity with everyone i was still out socializing and to be honest i don't think from today on anyone should be doing that because the virus is just going to spread and spread and spread and spread and more people are going to get it and then more people are going to be at risk and then i honestly don't know what's going to happen but i assume from tomorrow or definitely monday that the government will make some sort of announcement i hope they do but yeah stay safe everyone and remember if you are self-isolating if you're staying at home I have so many more videos that you can watch that are light-hearted. You know, you don't have to be stuck glued to the news and filling your head with lots of negativity. Yes, I think it's important to stay informed and knows what's going on and isn't stupid. But I also think that, you know, in times like these, it's very important to keep your head happy and keep your head positive and do things that fulfill you and do things that make you feel happy and calm and not just constantly soaking in all the news um so yeah watch stuff from your favorite creator watch some of my videos watch other people's videos as a freelance makeup artist being one of my main streams of income all my appointments have been cancelled until at least the end of april so that's great um <laughs> if you could watch my videos and leave the ad play through instead of skipping them that would be great that would help me at least earn some form of income because obviously i am a freelancer i'm self-employed i work for a magazine that probably won't be running for the next few weeks um i work for myself doing makeup which won't be happening um and i do youtube and thankfully youtube is still here but again i'm a very small creator it's not much money that i earn from youtube um so you know support your favorite creators at the moment if if you can at all like just watch their videos i think a lot of people are very lucky to you know have jobs where they'll continue to get paid but just remember that a lot of people won't be getting paid at this time um and thank god like i'm lucky enough to live at home um but there's a lot of people I don't know how this is going to play out for people like i really don't um but yeah all of my appointments have, until the end of april have been cancelled because obviously there's so much uncertainty people don't know what's going on and i don't think i'd feel comfortable anyway doing makeup with someone like because when you're doing someone's makeup you're in such close proximity it's crazy it's mental um but yeah i'm gonna have plenty of videos coming out for the next few weeks obviously every sunday which is today for you tuesday and thursday i might have extra uploads if there's anything at all you want to see anything light-hearted anything fun i might i don't know what i'm going to do but um yeah stay safe if you're in ireland don't be stupid and um hopefully wherever you are in the world it's not too serious and hopefully you know that this just ends soon because it's mental like this has never happened like the whole world okay anyway on a lighter note thank you so much for watching this week's video thank you so much for watching to the end 
if you want to support me comment down below give my video a thumbs up it really helps my channel and my channel could use all the help it can get at this point because it's my only form of income for the next few weeks so that's great um so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video guys goodbye